Hello and welcome or welcome back. I'm Bo and we are on the struggle bus yet again. Very exciting. Uh, but this is my paycheck budget, our paycheck budget for our little family of five, our little blended family um, for March 22nd to April 4th, which I count as April because for me, the first paycheck is the paycheck that covers the first because that's when most of our bills come out. So let's get started. I'm excited. I'm excited for April. I'm not excited for taxes, but I'm excited for April. So I haven't done my taxes yet. Have you? Have you? Did you get your refund already? We, we are very nervous and we haven't done ours yet. Um, huh. Anyway, let's get into it. Uh, so this zero based budget worksheet I got from Vertex 42 link in the description. Um, it is free. I'm not getting paid to advertise this. I just like the spreadsheet and it's customizable and it's fun. It's free. Go get it if you want it. Okay. So, uh, for inflow, we have his paycheck at $1,014 which is a short paycheck and we don't like this. We don't love it for us. It's not, it's not how we make friends. Um, and then my paycheck, which I'm budgeting for $1,003. This uh, is based on the worst paycheck I've had at my job. My paycheck will absolutely be larger than this, but that is what I budget for so that I have wiggle room. You don't have to follow the rules, y'all. You don't have to be exact. It's okay. It's okay. As long as that numbers add up at the end, you're good. Um, but this, of course, is not financial advice. Just me trying to not be poor. Um, other income, $339. This is um, for my partner's credit card cash back on the credit card that he just closed. Uh, he, he hadn't been using it. He just hadn't closed it because he couldn't find the physical card. Um, and he needed the uh, card number in order to cancel it. So, you know, he had to wait until he got a new card in the mail. It's, it's a whole thing. Uh, but it's okay. It's closed now. $339 in cash back. We are okay with that. Um, and then we're budgeting for a rollover of $613 from last paycheck. So that brings us to a total of $2,969. So... For his spending, we're we're going real simple here, y'all. Um, we're only budgeting two things: rent for one thousand two hundred twenty-five dollars and kid bills a hundred and three dollars. Big ball in y'all. <laughs> but short paycheck. This is this is what happens. This is what happens. Uh, so that is a subtle total. Up Gonna subtle total. Subtotal of $1,328 leaves us with $1,641. And then for his saving, um, he's saving $163 for his kids, $198 for personal loan, $277 for his emergency fund, which brings us to $638. Uh, leaves us with $1,003 which lo and behold is what I budget my paycheck for. The rest of that money is his. Um, and uh, these numbers actually, these savings numbers were from my uh, previous month's estimation of what he should be saving. So this is not all that he'll be saving this month. It's just, I based it on the old numbers before I recalculated how much we need to save every month. So, these are rookie numbers, y'all. <laughs> Not rookie numbers. We're just, we're really behind on saving because he had a lot of short paychecks. Bear with us, please. Um, then we come to my spending. So uh, $26 for monthly bills, $167 towards his debt, uh, $30 for dining out, $220 for groceries, which is what we normally do, $60 for transportation, $75 for health. I decided to split this up. <laughs> <laughs> because $150 off the bat for health, just, it was a lot, y'all. It was a lot. I couldn't do it. Um, not if I want to contribute to everything. And then household shopping, it got 50, is getting 50. Uh, birthdays, $20. Clothing, $40. Shoes, $40. Pet food, $30. And personal, $20. For a total of $778, leaves us with $225. 
And yes, I say leave us, even though we do have separate accounts. Um, this is a joint budget. This is a joint venture. Um, this is the full picture together. So we come to my saving though, and, and I just separate it so that we know whose accounts is whose. Um, so my saving, I'm saving $179 for insurance and then $46 for Christmas. And again, I know I've said it before, but this is not what I'll actually be saving for Christmas, but these, this is the maximum that I'll be saving because the two highest Christmas cards that I pull are $30 and $16. So I don't want to potentially go over that because I do pull a card, at least one card every week. Um, and I don't want to end up having to take money from somewhere else. So that is a subtotal of $225. We only had $225 left to budget. So that is our zero base budget. That is $0. Not $0 in our bank account, y'all, but $0 unaccounted for in this budget. And uh, I know I, I don't always say it often, but um, yes, we do normally get more money coming in than what we budget for, but we try to leave it that way in case something happens that we don't expect so we have some wiggle room and we can adjust accordingly. Um, I appreciate your patience. I appreciate your time. I love you so much. Um, let me know how your budgeting is coming along and what you do when you are behind in your savings. Do you even calculate it regularly? If not, I, I don't know. I think it's helpful uh, to know like how far you still have to go before you meet your goals. Like it's it's fun to just like save and save and save. But if you want to set like hard deadlines for yourself, I think it's important to like reevaluate and see how close you are and if you're on track um, because you might have less time than you think. I certainly do. <laughs> but in any case, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Uh, I hope you have a great day on purpose. And never forget that you deserve financial stability. Bye.